All right, and hey there, Proxians, and this is Prox right here, and guys, welcome back to another episode of the Mystery Dungeon Case to Infinity Point Let's Play. So if you guys uh, did miss out during our last episode, uh, what has happened here is that we actually had to go and do a little bit of some side jobs uh, for the time being uh, before actually getting ourselves into the next part of the main story, which that is going to be happening here for today. Uh, we actually did go and head into a dream sequence, which we actually did go and meet up with Muna, and it seems like uh, we actually do have our next objective, which that is going to be heading on over to, I believe, Mount Kilianea. And uh, I did do a smidge bit of some research, not a whole lot, but I do know very little about what is happening within this time. Uh, we actually do need to go ahead on over to a place known as uh, Kilianea Road, if I'm not mistaken, and that actually has uh, 10 floors to it. Uh, but I will be going and cutting out on most of those things uh, there anyways. Uh, but this is also going to be, I believe, the first time that I think we're going to be meeting up with some monster houses here within this game. So that's going to be pretty interesting. But I actually do have a somewhat of a leeway to kind of help us out a little bit, which that is actually going to be having some action replay codes to actually help out with both my first party and second party Pokemon, uh, which that of course is being uh, both Binge and Pikachu here that can actually be able to uh, hopefully get themselves up to the max level that we do need and hopefully be able to get ourselves some pretty nice good moves. Hopefully we can learn ourselves out with Discharge maybe a little bit later on uh, within our uh, boosting of the EXP, which then that would be really nice and then we could just be able to just go and knock out on every single type of uh, Monster House type of Pokemon that we actually do have. But with all that being said, I believe we actually need to go ahead all the way up here to this top part where we do need to go and meet up with both uh, Espeon and Umbreon to actually go and head into our next uh, part of the uh, enter card type of things that we need to go and do and I think uh, Umbreon and Espeon are, are basically waiting for us here so hey are you ready to go to uh, save Muna? Well of course I think we are totally ready. Also to off recording I did go and buy on just a little bit of some extra things. We got ourselves an extra reviver seed and also got ourselves an extra all powered up orb because uh, I think if I'm not mistaken uh, we are going to get ourselves into a little bit of a boss battle as well now that's also a little bit of a smidge bit thing that i kind of do know uh, about what's going on here uh within this time as well uh, i don't think that's going to happen just yet but it'll be happening a, a little bit later on because of the different sequences of mystery dungeon type of things so we actually have to go and do kind of like how we did uh everything within the uh glade gracer so let's go and uh, see what has to happen here so all that is left is just to summon the magna gate and that is totally fine so it's pretty far from here uh, to mount kilianea so we'll get you there but we won't be able to get you back using the enter cards so uh that's gonna be a little bit scary but i think it'll be a long road home but you better be prepared for that possibility so you're sure that you're ready to go I think we are totally ready to go. Uh, I already do have enough aura berries on deck as well, but I guess I could probably go and uh, head. Well, hold on. Just for that one quick note, just speaking about aura berries, we do have an aura berry farm, right? And I do want to go and, however, speak on over to Mianfu one more other time, just so that I can be prepared and just having some extra aura berries uh, by my side here, because that would be very nice to uh, have anything. Uh, aren't we uh, going to say Muna? Oh. Well, wrong way. Uh, no, I actually had to go and head uh, straight across to the other side of the road, not this way. But yes, I already know about the different combination of cards. Thank you, Binge. Oh, oh my goodness. Okay, I get it now, Binge. Thanks. Uh, I don't have to get notified about how everything needs to happen with the actual story. Okay. Let's go and make our way up to this top part here. And reach back on over to our Paradise section. Because Manfu is actually going to be here, and hey, we actually got some extra more Aura Berries. That was exactly what I did need. Nice, got ourselves an extra other three of those Aura Berries. So, let us go and do this one other time as well. Yes, let's go and plant another Aura Berry there. And I think we should now be totally set. So, there we go. So, now we'll just have to wait until we uh, do come back uh, from here after our uh, journey within uh, Mount Killian. And then we'll try and pick up on the rest of those Aura Berries as well, too, in the process. I really do like that Aura Berry feel because that's going to be like helping us out quite a bit. But unfortunately, we cannot uh, ever go and do uh, the Reviver Seeds as well because, unfortunately, again, uh, from what I told you guys uh, during the last episode, is that we can't really go and uh, upgrade on our. Uh, well, well, basically upgrade on our one thing right now until we actually open up uh, two more other uh, 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 well two more other type of uh, parts for the paradise so that we can actually be able to go and get ourselves the reviver seeds until we actually get ourselves the upgrades but yes uh, I'm ready with my uh, part at least but there's nothing left to just do but if you're finished all that you need to go is just talk to Umbreon all right well let's go and talk to Umbreon here so yep I'm ready to go now all right so you already said the, uh, the enter cards and everything so it's pretty far from here yes we already know about that uh, you won't be able to get back using the enter cards. Yes, we already know. Okay, and I think we are totally good. Yes, of course, I'm ready. So, all right, well, let's get this main gate open. Oh, man, here we go. We get to see this for another time here. I always do like this scene a lot. 
to seeing this main the gate open up. Now also as well too guys, uh, we will be also jumping on in uh, back to Color Splash as well too uh, within these two videos for today. So hopefully as well, hopefully you guys do go and uh, check out on that because uh, we are going to be heading on over to Vortex Island. And then I believe right on after that we actually do have um, the Fortune Island as well, which we actually do have the battle with Wendy. So that would be pretty cool. Um, but I don't think that's going to be happening for uh, not for a little while. Uh, but yes, we actually do have the right proper thing card for the job as well because after since we did that whole annoying sniff it or whiff it challenge We finally got that instant camera, so we actually do need a, that uh, very important indeed But oh no, the main gate is now closed And now it just left its own mark there um, But do you want to save your adventure? No, we are not going to be saving our adventure just yet But here we go this place actually looks pretty interesting. This feels kind of like what uh, the Great Glacier was. Well, kind of like at the start of it, having to go to the Teleroot path and everything. There it is. This is the entrance to the dungeon. Very cool. So if we always just make it through this dungeon, we should be able to get to where Muna is. It's a bit scary to go without any backup, but let's go and just do it. Just the two of us. Sure. All right, well, this is going to be a little bit scary here. So, unfortunately, we do not have any type of partner Pokemon unless if we do go and add our partner Pokemon uh, from the uh, different mystery dungeons that are going to be uh, helping us out when we actually do go explore this. But, yes, yeah, it's only going to just be only just Binge and, uh, and myself here just going to be going and taking care of this whole entire place. So, without further ado, guys, I'm a little bit nervous for this, but let's just go and get ourselves all set up. Well... I think also as well too, I think I should probably go and do maybe a save point just in case. Uh, I think we'll probably do a save point just in case. Let's just go and do that for right now. Because for me personally, I just want to just be on the safe side because you never know what will happen. We don't know if we may probably jump into a monster house or something and I just feel a little bit scared about that all the time. But yes, we actually do have that as a save point now, so we'll make sure to go and uh, come back to that whenever we do feel like it. So without further ado, let's just go and uh, jump on through ahead, and let's go and do this thing, man. I got all the Reviver Seeds that I do need, so Killian Air Road, so only 10 floors, so hopefully it shouldn't be too difficult. Okay, now also too, before I forget, we also do actually have some training seeds, and... Uh, also, we do have, I also want to say, uh, we also have, where is it? The Life Seed, yes. I do want to, however, give that over to uh, Prox as well. Now, I'm hopefully hoping that uh, with the EXP glitch that I do have, uh, I, I want to make sure that Prox can actually be able to get himself all uh, trained up. So, let's see if that is going to be the case. Let's just find out a, a regular, random Pokemon that's around here. Like, uh... Like this guy here, for that matter. And we also been yawned, which that's not good. Alright, let's go set up for a T-Wave, just in case. Alright. Well, that wasn't really the best of ideas there, Binge, but... Uh, let's go for Electro Ball there. Hopefully that should be able to just go and knock this guy out. Oh no, but we also did fall asleep. Oh no. Ah, oh, come on. Uh, Binge, help out here, man. This is not good. Oh my goodness. Oh. Get me up, dude. Oh my goodness. Okay, woo! Oh, I think we're okay now. But it seems like uh, the XP glitch is not really working at its advantage right now. Uh, well, that's not very good. Hmm. I don't think I've ever had a problem uh, with having an actual replay uh, problem from uh, from before. Because I remember in Super Mystery Dungeon, we uh, we actually had like somewhat of a uh, a nice time uh, with that because we were able to actually get all the uh, EXP grinding out of the way. All right, well, there we go. Knocked out the pawn here. Not all that too bad here. Oh, no, but now we got ourselves a whole bunch of these guys here. Uh, this is going to be scary. Nice, we actually got ourselves a paralysis on that, though. Now, hopefully, uh, when I've actually done the fish, uh, with, uh, with, with hopefully with the first floor, uh, I will actually be uh, going and uh, cutting out uh, the rest of this type of stuff here so that you guys don't have to worry about me having to... Whoa, this guy is... Uh, well, that's a little bit scary. We actually do uh, have a uh, clock leader here. Uh, that's a little bit more problematic. Oh, come on. Just go for... Oh, no, this man has focus energy. Oh, nice. The clock leader wants to join the team. Yes. No. I said yes. Why did it, like, literally say no? Oh, I wanted to have a clock leader on the team. Jeez. Uh, well, I guess I just kind of misclicked by accident. Uh, 
But we do have a Pelpatil, though. Uh, this shouldn't really be too much of a problem. But there we go. Oh, come on, Bidge. You should be able to just go in and knock him out with the Lee Storm. Oh, no. Oh, this is not good. Oh, jeez. Okay, come on, Bidge. Don't hurt yourself already. Woo! Oh, no. Ugh. I have to go and set up for another uh, Aura Berry here, because it seems like Bidge is kind of getting a little bit low on the on the low side there. Oh, jeez. Come on, Bidge. Ugh. Stop it. Uh, don't get yourself confused. It's not a good time. We still need to uh, still keep on heading forward. Oh, here we go. Thank you, the steps. Okay, with all that being said, guys, let's just go ahead and move on forward. I'll see you guys once we actually do go and reach out over to the uh, ending point here uh, within our time in Kelenea Road. And I'll see you guys uh, when that actually does happen. Oh, all right, guys. And we are finally out of here. Oh, B10F. All right, here we go. Oh my goodness, guys. I am so lucky that I actually did go and find myself a petrified orb, or else I would not be able to get on out of that monster house. But geez, okay. Well, guys, I think I'm going to save it off here. Uh, well, actually, hold up. We're not going to go and save it off here just yet, because we're going to go and uh, see a little bit more of the storyline that is going to happen. So, uh, it's pretty dark here. I can't see a thing, but I guess we'll just have to go and feel our way through. Uh, so it's just like from before, uh, when we were going and battling out with the, uh, w w well, with the boss poke well, Golurk, because it was, again, pretty dark uh, during that time, but I think it might be a dungeon's exit, but Prox, you want to go and check it out? Alright, well, let's go and see. Ooh, well, this looks like a pretty interesting place, I do have to say. It's dark out here, too. When did the sun go down? Hmm. Well, and how did we end up in a forest? Yeah, that was pretty crazy. We ended up from, from going from, from Kilinea Road, like some sort of, like, rocky area to now to a forest, but how much time could have passed? Well, I guess I've got to explain. Enter cards call up uh, dungeons by twisting around with the ley lines. And you never know what will happen when you do that. So maybe this is what he meant. Maybe the enter cards can't even go and affect time. Well, they said that we'd be able to go straight through the base of Mount Kilinea. So I guess it must be it. But, um, yeah. Well, I guess that means Muna should just be somewhere around here. Then Hydra gone, too. Uh, but there's no way that we'll go and find them. It's so dark. But yeah, so anytime uh, that we are actually do go and run into a monster house, uh, petrified orbs or uh, totter orbs or I think any other type of orbs uh, th that are like really helpful for like uh, kind of like confusing or paralyzing a whole entire group of Pokemon, that's basically like like, like your main option. So I I'm very happy that we actually uh, made it or, or managed on our way uh, throughout that place. So I hope it hasn't been too long. But if time has uh, well, if the time has passed, then Muna might uh, not even be here anymore. Hmm. Well, I hope she's all right. Well, I guess uh, worrying isn't going to help her, right? Uh, but we should just go to bed early, and we'll be ready for tomorrow. Well, oh, but what if uh, what if Hydra God attacks us while we're asleep or something? Well, I don't think that would probably happen, or maybe it will. I don't know. But no, uh, I just have to just gotta stop thinking like uh, like that. But if I start, uh, I won't be able to stop. But sleep, we just need sleep. Good night, Prox. All right, good night, binge. Let's have a nice good rest so that we can be fully awakened for when we actually do go and tackle out with our next, uh, for our next up and coming thing that's going to be here. So, hmm, uh-oh. We got ourselves another one of these dream sequences things here again with Muna? Me. Can you hear me? Prox. Oh, hey, it's Muna. Uh, are you okay, Muna? Uh, you're not hurt. Uh, yes. Uh, I I've somehow managed to keep out of trouble. And you actually came to save me, so thank you, thank you. Uh, so where are you now? Uh, when you leave the forest, uh, where you are, I think you'll see a rocky area. I'm hiding in the shadows there, among the rocks. But, uh, Hydragon just keeps getting closer. But I just can't move from my hiding spot if Hydragon finds me. So please, help me. Help. Oh, alright. Well, at least we kind of know exactly about where Moon is at for the time being for right now. But, I don't know if uh, Moon's going to stay there for too long. But we got to go and wake up Bidge up once. Bidge, wake up, man. Wah! Uh, Brox, what is it? Hydrogen, uh, is he attacking us? No. Uh, we're still fine. It's just that we got one of those type of Muna dream sequences here. Huh? He's not here? Oh, uh, maybe I just jumped out of conclusions. It's just a tiny bit. But so why did you wake me up, Brox? It's still night, is it? Yes, it is, but... Uh, what? Do you want us to go and save Muna right now? Alright, well, all of a sudden... Well, we just got something interesting here. So, oh, another dream? Uh, so, uh, if we don't go right away, then Muna's gonna be... Okay, well, right. Well, it seems pretty dangerous to stumble around in the dark, but it looks like we don't have any time to worry about what kind of thing is right now, but let's go. All right, well, hopefully we don't jump into the thing right away. 
But yeah, I guess we got ourselves a little bit of a checkpoint type of thing right here. So my eyes have got pretty used to the dark now, but it looks like the forest continues on away for a while. And beyond this forest, we should go and reach the rocky place where Moon is, right? Yes. So we better go and hurry or she'll be in trouble. So let's go, Prox. All right. Well, guys, I'm going to go and end off this episode here for today. So in the next one, it looks like we got ourselves a little bit of a foresty type of mystery dungeon, which I do kind of have to say I do like the foresty type of mystery dungeons uh, within uh, any type of uh, a series of uh, Pokemon games that happened here. So I'm pretty excited about that. So I'll see you guys in the next one and peace.